to another vlog. It is Saturday, I'm about to get ready and just realised I haven't got ready on camera in the longest time so I thought it would be nice for me to like do my makeup. I have like the lightest layer of tan on, like I probably don't look like I have any tan on on camera but I do and I was just thinking maybe I should actually do makeup for once. So I had a work meeting this week and the organization that I work in, I feel like I don't really ever talk about my job, but basically I work for an education organization and I do administrative work, but it's also like reports, marketing campaigns, communication campaigns, even not really marketing, but it's like the whole comms for different projects reports, meeting notes. It's just, I feel like when people finish college and they get like a big girl job, which is something that I kind of despise because any job is a big girl job. I just think that people don't really know what like office jobs entail, but I have an office job and it's it can be anything. And I feel like people who work as at the level I am at and below are the backbone of every organization ever. So. So basically I had that meeting on Wednesday and it was so long. I was the one who had to be like sharing the screen, taking the note, etc. So that's what I was doing. And it was just like a long day and I feel like it takes up a lot of like mental capacity and you just end up being so tired because I was wrecked and I was so tired on Thursday. And I don't know, was that a combination of the meeting and then also just about to get my period. I knew I was about to get my period. And I just had this moment of, oh my God, I wonder does every like person who gets periods like every woman or just anyone who gets period does everyone have a moment where they're like oh my god i now know my body because i feel like this happened to me when i was 23 24 25 where i finally was so in tune with my body that like i know when i'm about to get my period i literally know up to like the exact two days before and it's just like I don't know, because when I was younger, <laughs> this is going to sound ridiculous, but when I was like in my early 20s and my late teens and like say you're like have a boyfriend or whatever and you're having sex, I used to be convinced every time I had sex I was going to be pregnant and like I was literally like either on the pill or using protection, but I was just so terrified and I just had myself convinced and I feel like there was just like this point when I was 24 where I was like, I'm not going to get pregnant and it wasn't because like, I was even more cautious. It was really the same level of cautiousness, but it was because I now knew my body. My favorite eyeliner, because I do get questions about eyeliner occasionally, is the Catrice 24 hour brush liner with coconut water. Long lasting. There was no more after that. I just kept talking. I have been doing eyeliner since 2009. I would, I would guess. I was a YouTube obsessed tween. Now, look at that little wing. They're not, so, oh no, they're pretty even. I'll just chicken this one out a tiny bit. I feel like teenage and preteen me was way more adventurous when it came to fashion. Like this is such a vivid memory in my head. I think I was in first year or like sixth class, like very young and I was wearing, it was a Sunday and I was wearing a white shirt and like jeans and I had like a chunky belt on and I was wearing like a sweater vest and I was wearing one of my dad's ties. And I was just so confident in my look, even though like I was a literal child. I remember I was in Pettit's in a tie and one of the women working there complimented my outfit. She was like, I love your outfit. And I was literally 12 and I was just so proud of myself. And like, I feel like it was my experiences as a little, 12 year old, 12 to like 14 year old maybe, cause I was into clothes always after that as well, that I was like, wow, it's fashion I want to work in. And I used to love mass because on a Sunday you'd like get dressed up and you pick, you'd make more of an effort into what you're wearing. I just want to get back to that. 24 to 25 is me reverting back to like who I was as a child. And it's not even about like healing your inner child or anything. It's literally just about rediscovering the joy that normal things brought you and all the like goodness out of life that you had as a child in your 20s. And even like my mom made a comment the other day, she was like, why are all your sis you and all your sisters like now buying yourselves like toys? Like I have those little Sylvanians I bought myself a few months ago. I have like increased my teddy collection 
by like four members of Teddy's since the beginning of like 2021 because they bring me joy and I feel like your teenage years are you trying to like reject so much of what you taught as a child and like I remember this is like one of my saddest like most vivid memories when I was like 12 or something I had like all younger sisters and we still played and my mom got me like this like Barbie thing for my birthday and I was so upset and I remember at the time I couldn't even explain how I was upset but like I was upset because I wanted to still play with my Barbies with my sisters but like another part of me wanted to be like grown up and like a big girl even though like I just didn't know what that was so then like for the next couple of years it was like this huge inner battle to try figure that out god I feel emotional but like excuse me I honestly sometimes like look forward to like having kids so that like I can play with them again and then also like you could play anytime and I feel like a lot of girls especially love playing sims as a teenager because it's the exact same as playing barbies except it's on a computer so that scene is okay instead of sitting on the floor with like your siblings or by yourself and playing house and i'm not even going to get into like a part patriarchal argument that like playing house or playing with babies or playing barbies is like a societal thing it's just fun and you can like have your imagination and you can make up stories and you can have mad storylines I'm convinced that like half of my creativity from my teenage years was from the stories I created as like a seven year old on the floor. Like ask any of my sisters, they were complex storylines and I don't know, I just really wish I could go back in time and like tell 13 year old Rachel that like she doesn't have to like abandon everything and I feel like when people make fun of like adults that like enjoy children's things I don't know it's so sad that like people are like hating on other people for having enjoyment and things because at the very end of the day like we're all going to die and if you are so focused on like seeming cool like oh my god what was the point like if something brings you joy let it bring you joy obviously as long as it's legal and not weird i'm taking so long on my eyebrows because i keep talking but i'm really enjoying talking and explaining my thoughts to be honest i'm not sure losing a lid and yeah i think i'm pretty much done well i am done my face makeup anyway so i just need to my hair is like pretty much half dry so i just need to like quickly run over it with a hair dryer and then pick my cute little outfit it probably like, literally looks like i'm not wearing any makeup but i am and it's different to me because i never wear makeup so hopefully owen thinks i look nice okay so i think these trousers i really like the difference in textures so obviously this is like the velvet corduroy not velvet the corduroy and then this is like the knit little square pattern i think it's actually really cute so for shoes i wanted to wear my platform loafers today but i'm not 100 percent would these look cute with this outfit i think this might be like a runner moment also these trousers are a bit big on me so also i'm not sure about my hair now it's getting annoying i think maybe i need to go back to having the back out so it kind of creates like a bit more dimension rather than just like sucked in and then whatever so i have multiple hats so i have this green one which i thrifted or bought second hand even and it's from united colors benetton i'm obsessed so this is like option one i'm just gonna flip out my hair i i like that i think that's cute and then option two is this other one it's slightly lighter than the trousers I think I kind of like the yellow better, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm very much doing texture and color. Okay, no, I feel like the scarf might work without the hat. Yeah, I think the scarf without the hat. Because the scarf has the yellow elements and also the green. So I think that is cute. And then I'm going to put on my necklace, my rings, and then pick a bag. <laughs> Start your confidence. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm actually obsessed. I'm going to tidy up my room, bring down all these glasses and put away my stuff into like their allocated drawers and maybe even tidy away the clothes because Owen isn't here yet, which is actually very rare. Normally I'm waiting on him, but or normally he's waiting on me. So I won for once, yay! Even though life is in a competition. Start your computations. Surprise, 
surprise. Who would have guessed <coughs> this character would emerge in my vlog? So we decided to go to Port Leash and we're slowly becoming Port Leash stands. We normally go to Carlo, but then, yeah. Why did we suck on Carlo? I think it's Jenny's, yeah, because Jenny's shop stopped happening. It like wasn't a physical store anymore. So there's no need for me to go to Carlo all the time, even though Carlo does have like good charity shops or whatever. Um, so we don't go to Carlo anymore as well, because they don't have, I just really like Jenny's coffee. So yeah, we now are obsessed with Port Leash. We actually got sushi here. Oh, there's a funeral. <laughs> okay, so we're in Port Leash town center. And I think we're gonna go to like Wandering Elk because they do nice like toasted sandwiches because I haven't eaten today. I'm obviously on my period, so like, uh, why do my lips look so pale? So, did you get a ticket? No, I need to get coins. Okay. So I think that's the plan. Go get a toast sandwich. I also might get another coffee. I feel like when I have rings on, I feel like my hands are so much prettier. I'm like. So yeah, they have nice coffees as well. I might get a nice, a nice latte. There's a couple of charity shops near where that is. So we might go to them as well, just to have something to do, to be honest. And then go home. It's my nanny's birthday this week. Well, it already was, it was on Wednesday. So she's having a little party later. So we have that to look forward to. Jet. Yay. I just wanna dance it all. Okay, we're back in the car and tell everyone who we just seen. I'll give him a second while he eats his food. It's actually Ian Loda, Geelong boys. Yeah, they were so hot. <laughs> Brand champions. It's okay, Owen thinks they're hot as well. Yeah, it was cool. It's good to see them. Happy they, to be here in Port Leash, so random. Well, obviously, because it's yeah. Zach, so Zach has the coffee shop. But. They were um, so tall, so tanned, so well dressed, but it was gas because like they all were wearing clothes that like you would wear anyway. So it was just like, it was like seeing like loads of tall youths. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tall, I'm 5'11". <five> <laughs> oh my God, I feel flustered. <laughs> no, I don't feel flustered. I feel flustered because I was like, oh, will we want me to get a picture? And then uh, Rachel walked into Zach Tui. Oh yeah, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know who, who was who. So I just, I was just walking aimlessly and I kept walking into them. But, um, yeah. So I was thinking in my head on the way over, like imagine, there were, like, imagine Zach was here. And then we got there and it was like, all of them. Ten, 10 lads off the team because i looked into the back part and i could just see loads of lads and normally there's never anyone in there because three times we've gone in there to eat our food um oh we should have went in to eat our food hardly why it's so awkward he would have been pissing and crying <laughs> up the cats it was very exciting and i made <laughs> i made the point to owen that like if i ever saw a famous person that i really liked in person so i don't like, agree with this by the way yeah he doesn't agree with this but i i'm just delusional <laughs> if i saw a famous person that i really really liked and i just thought it seemed like cool i would never ask him for a picture because i'm convinced that like if i asked him for a picture we could never be friends in real life and it would just throw off the dynamic like i would be a fan and they would be a person i can't believe how tall mark is i'm sort of clip of mark here Good serves. Sort of defended, so that's a win for Murphy around the body. Great mark by Blitz. I'll tell you who he is there, but the big tall blonde guy. I don't get a clip of him. Like from him playing. Oh. <laughs> and Tom Atkins. Tommy. And I didn't really know who any I obviously didn't know who any of them were. So I just kind of panicked, drank my uh iced coffee, and now I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> The food is good though, so I'm ready to my little brother isn't here though because he's the real Geelong fan. That's right, clever call. <laughs> and how old would they be in comparison to you? My age. All your age? No, nah, like Zach's 32 and Tom Atkins and that. How tall, how old is the really tall guy? He's probably, I can look it up. Those young guys and their daughters, a couple of lads that were rookies this year, so they'd be my age. No stories. No stories. He was there as so. well. So yeah, a little starstruck morning. And it's funny as well because there's like the little girlies that were working in the cafe kept giggling. And I was looking at them and I was giggling, so like, <laughs> then Owen was giggling. <laughs> yeah, I was swimming as well. Anyway, very exciting morning. By the cottage on my blows, yeah, I wanna Drown myself inside the jewels, yeah, you know I Keep on running from the truth, is that not? I'm just a lonely fucking you. Hello guys. 
I have changed. My loafers cut the heels off me, which was not a vibe. Owen isn't gonna come to my nanny's, so he wants to buy flowers, but now I'm thinking, I don't really want him to like waste petrol and have to do that trip twice. So yeah, this is my second outfit. I'll probably wear this to my nanny's later, just because her house is really warm and I can take off the jumper and just wear a t-shirt. Yeah guys, I've just sent him on. I already explained to the vlog, I didn't think this minute he said. <laughs> <laughs> do you hit me? Yeah, I do. Vlog. <laughs> Here's a vlog exclusive. <laughs> oh my god, your hair looks so nice. Thanks. Say bye, vlog. For decoration. <laughs> Why do you think it's right there? Some woman for one Dreamers of the 